Smile is back in the grand panels and to see if he can get like a like basic redemption. And see, because so far uh, I think he knows that Pork Chops knows what he's gonna do. And that's basically a lot of like um much of dash attacks and and like no shines or anything. Yeah. So hopefully if he does win that he sw actually like switch switches it up a bit. Yeah. Um I myself would actually like to see N2K go back because I feel like he really has the potential to take on uh, Pork Chops and he's got the potential to actually beat him. But he just needs the he needs the time of day, you know. He needs another chance. And this could be it. Let's see where where, where this goes right now. Smiles up one uh, up one stock against N2K. And really, he's not letting N2K get a break. When he's far away, he's going to put those lasers in on him, put in a little bit extra damage. When he gets in close, you know, you got to shine and send him back. Very different smiles, especially from Mask. Yeah. I mean, like, he's playing, he's got to play a little more conservatively. And he waits for it right there, waits for him to get the roll on, and as soon as he does, up smashes him. Good job coming from uh, Smiles. Smiles up two stops right now, and only building upon that percentage right now that uh, N2K has already. Oh man, beautiful. Goes for a short, short, short hop up air, sends him up into the air. As you saw, he was crouching right there, but he came down on him and hit him up in the air. So that crouching is not going to work too well for him in this match. Defeats, defeats that stop with an up tilt. He just uses his edge guard. Doesn't get it though. Gets hit, hit by the fire. Goes in too far. And now, Smiles is going to put on even more hurt. This is definitely not looking too good for N2K. Able to pick up a stock right there, but that's about it. Now you see, he's definitely not going for the obvious combos. You know? Not saying that up a up a up throw to rest is guaranteed, but it's something that it really does set you up for uh, a rest easier than a lot of other moves can. You know, up tilt can, up throw can, but he's not going for any of those. And um, Smiles is up one game over N2K right now. Now, it could be like I was saying earlier, maybe he's trying to condition him to pretty much get used to the fact that he's not doing that. <laughs> or he's just, his play style just completely negates that, you know? That's pretty up there. I mean, up smash, thinking that he's gonna actually take in place, but no, Smiles takes back. Puts it in a neutral position yet again. Oh man, it will catch him that up air as he comes back on stage of up smash as he comes back on stage. Oh, oh. catches him with the rollout. Now I think he was trying to use that as kind of a distance tool because they were so far apart. But I believe that he knew that he was actually going to laser right there. I mean, he was more than anything short hop lasering, but at that moment, he just so happened to just be standing in place and lasering, and he paid for it by getting hit by that rollout. Mark Bujad coming from uh, N2K, uh, being able to get that in. But right now, Smile is just looking for that clean up smash or even short hop up air on him. I mean, N2K knows that's what he's going for because that's the move that's going to take this stock, you know, if anything. That's going to be the one to finish it off. N2K just being cautious, hanging out in his shield right now. You can see Smiles. These guys are actually sitting in the wrong spot. I did not notice that. I noticed it. Yeah, time. Smiles is the guy on the bottom with the black shirt. And K is the guy with the white shirt, so they're sitting in the wrong spot. And there it is, an up there right there. Oh, man. 
to see Illusion as in 7% and just pretty much put space between the two. And there's the edge guard. And all, all he had to do is really just jump on the ledge, but he hesitated a little bit when he jumped up in the air. He wasn't able to grab it in time. Oh man, and this stock is actually going to get taken from Smiles right there. He's at 151%. Had to happen eventually. Oh man, there's the up throw. Uh, up, up there though, you know, from Smiles. Something actually, you know, every Fox player will most likely do against Jigglypuff. Just now seen it. I haven't seen too much of that actually coming from him. Or anything, you know. I think he went for it there, but uh, he actually messed up. Or anything, he's getting quite a bit of shine off. He's just trying to put him in a good position like that. Able to hit him on stage, and when he's coming back on stage, catches him with the up smash. And that's gonna put him, I believe. Okay, that's gonna put him 2 0. Okay, I was like, I don't know why he's getting up. <laughs> and they're running it back to final destination. What do you feel like N2K could actually do here? So far, I can tell that he's gonna do that. He needs to do that. Because <laughs> he barely did it in the last game, and I think that's what kind of costs. They, they cost him the auto stocks. He had a lot of chances to do it, like perfectly, but he just um, didn't, didn't do it. Yeah, he's not fully utilizing the rest, which, you know, you need that when you're playing Jigglypuff. Like, maybe he's trying not to be too reliant on it, Yeah. but it's something that's going to prove to be very helpful for him. Yeah. yeah, you can tell he's like really trying to not do it as much because against pork chops, was it pork chops that he went against? Or he went against pork chops. He went against Prof. He went against Smiles. Yeah. Yeah. They. Like, he relied on it too much. Like, that was the only thing he was really trying to do. Mm -hmm. Let's get. Let's get those on um, down bees. But even things like that are gonna prove to be very, very helpful. He's yeah. able to throw them off the stage. And then he's gonna just edge guard him, and that's it. And there is another beautiful example of up throw to rest. Why he didn't go for it in the last game? I'm not too sure. Maybe he was just confident in it, but he's definitely picking those up now. And if he's able to get his throws off the stage, then, um, yeah. And that's going to bring the N2K up 1.21 in this series. harder on this one because he's going to need to get reads and if he's going to be going to go for up to rest if he up throws them he's most likely going to be under a platform you know platforms cover about 50 percent of the stage if he throws them up then he's going to be able to tech a certain way you know something he wasn't able to do on final destination due to the lack of platforms oh man that was a very early stock coming out from him looking to finish it out yet again but he's not over the up there, but he gets the up smash right there as he moves into him. Not too far of a decision right there since that get up up smash proved to be really hurtful now. And, ooh, that's gonna seal the deal right there. This is looking very grim all of a sudden. I noticed that a lot of these matches. All these matches. They are going really one-sided, you know? 
Yeah. They're gonna be one person or the other. You know, last case is N2K, really. It's in his favor. This one's truly going in his favor, yeah. Smiles. No I'm gonna take it 3-0 over N2K. Just click the name. 